What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another Turo video. Today, I'm going to be going over what I go through to actually rent out this beautiful vehicle, rent it out for the first time. This Jeep Compass, just put it up on the Turo app and I'm gonna be preparing it and I'm gonna show you what I do to prepare the video, the uh, vehicle to be rented out. All right, first thing we wanna do is get it cleaned up. All right, let's do that. Let's get a wash. Ain't nothing better than getting a good old fashioned wash. But, when it comes to these things here, I don't come and get the thing. So you see they have these little $15 special. So that's $15 a month at this blue iguana. That's what this is here. So I have a membership with all of my vehicles in the fleet uh, with this particular company. So I can just pull up and get his you know, daily washes if I want. So it kind of helps out, all right? And they guide us in. Let's see here, we're in. Pop it in neutral, and we're ready to go. So this is the whole thing, get the car cleaned up, and that thing's gonna be probably the whole time, because this car does not like being in neutral while moving. Remember when you were a kid and used to love going into the car wash? Dub, dub, make some sense. considered to be difficult is actually vacuuming the vehicle out but if you keep your vehicles generally clean you don't really have to do too much work when it comes to vacuuming so I am gonna hit it a little bit but it really don't need much just being honest uh, I guess I'll pull over here looks like a little safer and clear from other jokers so there we go we go ahead and we prepare it so let's see how clean she looks uh. Looks clean to me. Clean her up, clean her up. So after running through the actual wash, I go through, hit it with the vacuum, make it all nice and clean, make everything look fresh, everything is looking good. I want to make sure to vacuum out the back of the vehicle. We want everything to look spick and span clean. Clean! 
So there we go. Backing out the inside. Now, I, and I guess that's the hardest part, like I say. Step one is to go through the wash. Step two is to go through and vacuum. Step three is the wipe down. So you gotta wipe down everything inside of here, especially these hot spots. And when you say hot spots, we're talking about all the places where people touch, like all up in here. All that I'm gonna wipe all that down with a disinfectant cloth or wipe of something here, whatever that is. We're gonna wipe all this down and then we'll be moving on to the final step, which is actually preparing it to be sent out, which is the check-in or the check out, I guess you could say, on the Turo app. All right, let's try that next. All right, and then we are on to the final portion. We are over to the one of the last steps before the vehicle is 100% ready to go out on the next rental. So first step is go through the wash. Second step is to go do the interior clean, the vacuuming portion, that's the most work. And then thirdly is go to my favorite gas station. QT, are you with me? We're going to quick trip, which happens to be right across the street. That's why I like to come to this location for the wash because the gas is straight across the street. I mean, we're almost full anyway. We only need about what? I don't know. What is it? Two tick marks of gas? What's that? $6, $5? Who knows? I'm going to give them the fuel to be completely topped off. I like to to give them a full tank they bring it back on a full tank if not we get to charge them and the way that works on Turo when you're charging somebody for gas you just um, upload the receipt into the app and uh, you're gonna get that refunded back from the actual renter they're gonna ask them you know to pay it if they don't respond within a certain amount of time they'll just do it in your favor now it won't just be the same amount that you tried to get originally it will actually be an amount plus ten dollars an amount plus ten dollars so um you can actually make a few extra bucks from gas but you know it's, it's ten dollars it's not a lot but it can add up so here we go we're gonna pump some gas real fast and i said it, it was gonna be about six dollars to fuel this puppy up and that's exactly what it was six bucks and 58 cents so when it comes to fuel, I do it a little bit different than some people. I don't just use a regular credit card for points, which I could do that, but I have something called a QT Fleet Master Card. Let me see if I can pull it out for you. One second. Uh, yeah, so there you go. You see, uh, there you go. You see how it's got a Fleet Master Card, and uh, don't be trying to use my numbers either. I gotta watch y'all on this internet. But yeah, you get your Quick Trip card. Um, I have, I think, four of these cards. And so I can basically track my expenses when it comes to fuel. And it makes it a little bit simpler on the accounting. And um, I think they gave me like a $3,500 limit, which I don't think I'm going to use $3,500 worth of gas. Not that quick, not at one time, overtime maybe. But generally speaking, it makes it easier. Like I say, I can track expenses as far as fuel. And uh, we are ready to go. So. We do the car wash, we do the vacuum, we do the fuel, which is now filled up, filled up, filled up. And then thirdly is the pictures. We gotta take pictures of this vehicle and upload those into the app on Turo. And I like to pull over right here. So as you see, it looks like I got a routine that I do all the time. Just a little spot I'll just pull in. Cause it's open, I can take my pictures. I don't have anything. And uh, I'll pull out and take these pictures. All right, let's see what she looks like. So there you go. I took pictures of all four sides of the vehicle with all the doors open, all the doors closed. We want to show any imperfections, if we have any. Um, I try to be, you know, as clear as possible because if you don't, then they'll, you know, Turo can claim that, you know, the vehicle wasn't safe. You want to take good pictures and close-ups of tires, all that stuff, because you don't want any kind of claim coming back saying your vehicle was unsafe or it wasn't this or that. You want to show the complete condition of the vehicle, the way you gave it to the person. So if it come back with big dents, big scratches, big anything, you want to get up on top. So when you're doing your photos, it's very important to get close, detailed photos if possible. So I usually try to take about 
you know, 15, 20 pictures, something like that, maybe more, depending on the vehicle and the situation. So a vehicle like this, you definitely want to do it, you know, because it's not a cheap little, this ain't a $3,000 car. You know, this is a compass, baby. It's a Jeep. So that's that. The Jeep, the beast. So I took pictures of the inside, outside, everywhere, right? All in here, even all up on top, because you don't want to come back and be like, what's that big scrape on the roof from somebody feet in the air or whatever they be doing? Also, you want to get uh, close-ups of the gas gauge to show that, you know, you got a full tank. You also want to show your mileage. So um, once I get all of that, I load it up into the app on Turo, and we are ready to go. Let's see if my uh, renter is ready. Let's check something first on the app here. Uh, I got somebody else trying to book at the same time. Matter of fact, oh uh, yeah, this guy wanted to book. I want to know before I transfer, can I pick up before three? Man, you schedule for the time you want. That's for the little white car, as you can see there. So that's not what I'm looking for. Though. I'm looking for the other one. Watch the Jeep. Uh, let's see here. This other guy is supposed to be coming at 10 o'clock. Oh, he did it. Okay. So what I do is I tell them to upload their information. Let me see. I don't want to show this stuff online here. I tell them to do a selfie with, oh, wow, a selfie with the close-up of the driver's license, as you see he did there. I don't really want to show his stuff online, but I tell them to do that before renting. So let me show you the message that it's like a generic message. I say, Please take two photos. One is a selfie with the driver's license next to your face. Second is a close-up to the photo. Please upload both pictures to the trip once they're done. You're ready to go for 10 a.m. pickup. And that's in about 10 minutes, so he'll be ready to go. So he said, I don't want to see you ready to upload, bro. But he figured it out. He figured it out. Okay. So we'll see him in about 10 minutes, and he'll be ready to go. So all I have to do now is go in here and add the photos I just took. Okay. Add photos. I don't want to show his thing again, like I said. So the pictures I just took. See, I took pictures all around the car, front, back. Uh oh, got ice creams. We used to eat ice cream out of toilet paper roll. Yeah, some I found on the line. So then you just simply touch all those. Touch, 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 touch. Touch, 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 touch. Can't do this with one hand. Touch, 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 touch. Touch, 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 touch. So like I say, we got, I got about 20 photos. You put them and then you push upload. And then as they go in, doo -doo 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 -doo, you're ready to roll. See all the pictures are in there. And now, all we have to do now is do a picture of the fuel and the mileage and hand them the keys and he's ready to go. All right. So hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, post them down in the town. Post them down in the town. Post them down in there. Uh-oh. I pushed a button by playing around on here. Post it down in the comments. I'll see if I can help you out, all right? I got one more little piece in just a second. So yes, yes, yes. So that's the thing. Clean it up, vacuum it up, picture it up, upload it into the app, hand them the keys. I don't really even have to meet this guy. I could already have the vehicle parked at the location. So they already have a location within there. You set the location you want your vehicles to be picked up at and dropped off at, unless you're gonna do the delivery, but I don't do deliveries because this right here is enough work for me. Taking a car to the car wash, vacuuming it out, fueling it up, handing off a key, that's work. But sometimes I don't even hand off a key, I'll just tell them where the key is. If the person did like that, the person did and put the picture, the selfie and a close up of their license and all that, that's checked in enough for me. I don't really need to meet this person but you don't want to tell the person that that's renting because you could have somebody upload somebody's information and then that's not the person who pick it up so you know what they call a remote check-in or a touchless check-in so all i got to do now is go basically to the pickup point which is about 10 minutes back up the road or less what time is it let me see what time we got we got just enough time to drop them off so i'm gonna go meet him there Hand them the keys and I'll be off to the next one. I got somebody else trying to book my white car. My black car is back too. So, you know, the cars are coming in and going out. So hopefully they try to keep them for a longer time. You know, that short term stuff isn't so good. Let's see what they just did. Somebody just wrote something. Somebody just wrote something. Did the pictures go in or what? He say 10 minutes away. Okay, that's him telling me we 10 minutes away. Me too. 
I'm 10 minutes away as well. So I'll see you in 10 minutes, buddy. So also you can go in here and you can share your location. You can share your location with the person so they can actually meet you. So that's me on the map, that little blue picture down there, you see. And that's the actual pickup point up there. So you can actually, like when I go there, he'll see me on the map. And it's like sharing your location. They can do the same thing when they're bringing a the vehicle back. And it goes specifically off the app location. They don't know where the vehicle is. They know where the app is, but they don't know where the vehicle is. But I do have trackers on all my vehicles. And I suggest you to have trackers on your vehicles as well because you want to know where they're at. In fact, let's take a quick look and see where are my other vehicles. Uh, so when I go to my little app here, I can pull that up. Somebody's out of town. Somebody's, well, I don't know if you can see that. Somebody's way over here in South Carolina. And this is us in St. Louis here. It's probably reverse. I don't know. But when you get real, let me zoom in real quick before I lose our location. So you can see the other location. These, this is in the St. Louis area now. I zoomed in. I put it on all of them. So they have little dots or little cars. And then you can see where your cars are at all time in real time. You can actually see how fast they're driving, all that stuff right there. So hopefully this video helped you out today. I'm going to get up out of here and do some more woke stuff. If you are looking to learn more about this Toro game and get in the game, you want to book a call, a strategy session, go to chrismonroestl.com. That's the coaching website or the coaching page, chrismonroestl.com. On there, you can find out about learning more about Turo. And if you're actually looking to get into real estate, which is my real specialty, buying real estate without any money out of pocket, any credit. I don't know how to use my credit to buy houses. So I teach that as well. So learn more about that at chrismonroestl.com. Don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat. That's Twitter. That's Instagram. That's Facebook. That's YouTube. That's TikTok. That's Clubhouse. You know we on Clubhouse every Thursday and Sunday. The Chris and Jerry Show. Check that out as well. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Peace. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for you real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre-foreclosure list. And don't forget, you got to find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven-day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. Get your free real estate joint venture agreement and get notified of upcoming shows, text JV to 636-330-1444. Today's broadcast is being brought to you by WokeSkipTracing.com. Look up phone numbers and email addresses with ease, with pricing as low as only 15 cents per match, not per search, per match. If there's no number or email address, you don't pay. Get accurate data in just minutes. WokeSkipTracing.com. That's WokeSkipTracing.com. You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow-up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you code call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more all automated. You don't have to remember anything. Just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out. WokeReply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today. WokeReply.com. That's WokeReply.com.